The Queen, 95, has been unable to walk her beloved dogs around the grounds of Windsor Castle after she was admitted to the King Edward VII Hospital in London last week, the Mail Online has reported. Following her visit to the London Hospital, the palace said, following medical advice to rest for a few days, the Queen attended hospital on Wednesday afternoon for some preliminary investigations, returning to Windsor Castle at lunchtime today, and remains in good spirits. The Queen, who has owned corgis since 1944, currently has two of the small Welsh dogs. She also has a dorgy, a cross between the corgi and the German Dachshund that was favoured by Her Majesty's late sister, Princess Margaret. According to the Mail Online, the dog-loving monarch loves being driven to walk her three dogs near Frogmore. Frogmore Cottage, which reportedly remains licensed to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle until March 2022, is now home to Princess Eugenie, her husband Jack Brooksbank and their child August. While the Mail Online say family and friends of the firm believe the Queen's daily dog walks are a tonic that has helped keep Her Majesty so healthy at the age of 95, they claim members of the Queen's staff have walked the dogs since she was admitted to hospital. News revealing the 95-year-old monarch has been unable to walk her dogs comes after it was also reported she did not attend a church service at Windsor's All Saints Chapel. Buckingham Palace had said on Sunday the Queen was in good spirits and undertaking some light duties while resting. The Queen has had a pretty hectic schedule in 2021 so far. The 95-year-old has had 120 official engagements since the death of her husband, Prince Philip, in April. Only Prince Charles, 72, and Princess Anne, 71 have had a busier seven months, with 191 and 255 jobs. Following Her Majesty's return from Balmoral in early October, the Queen opened the Welsh Parliament, launched the countdown to next year's Commonwealth Games and met with investment leaders at her Berkshire home. However, following medical advice, the Queen reluctantly cancelled her two-day visit to Ulster, which was set to mark Northern Ireland's centenary celebrations. It remains to be seen whether Her Majesty will attend the UN's COP26 Climate Change Summit alongside Prince William and Prince Charles in Glasgow next week. After COP26, which is set to last from October 31st to November 12th, the Queen is scheduled to appear at the Cenotaph Balcony for Remembrance Sunday.